and some haggis bonbons. Gorgeous. Yep, they look really good. So crispy little deep fried bits of haggis. Could not be more Scottish if we tried. <laughs> So we are in the heart of Aberdeen at the moment and we've just visited the new Mackey shop. Let me show you what we've got. So I got two scoops. Would you believe this is two scoops for three pounds, which is ridiculously cheap. So I've got one scoop of rhubarb and custard and one scoop of an Aberdeen buttery and jam ice cream. If you're not aware of a buttery, it's a very traditional kind of Scottish bread thing mm -hmm. made with butter. It's ridiculously delicious and a nice little wafer. Mum has got some mango and passion fruit, some rhubarb and custard, and some salted caramel. Salted caramel. Very happy. Absolutely gorgeous. And it is so busy, so we're just kind of standing outside eating it instead. So excited though. Just to let you guys know how hardy the Scots are, it is currently between two and five degrees, and we're sitting outdoors eating this ice cream like, we are, de we are dedicated. Also, especially for the Food Review UK guys who thought you could only get kind of one or two flavors of Mackey's, Mackey's is a big deal here in Scotland. Like we have this entire shop, which is ho hoaching, as we would say up here, out the door. And we had a choice of what, like 20 flavors? Yeah. So many flavors, Easily. ridiculous. And they are so good. Good afternoon. Good to see you again. So today we went to the North Hop Festival, as you can see by my wrist stamp there. Uh, the North Hop Festival is a kind of craft beer and food and drinks festival that kind of tours around Scotland and usually finishes here in my hometown of Aberdeen. So essentially what it is, is they'll take a huge hall or a huge kind of venue, fill it with great kind of alcoholic drink sellers and craft beer people and street food stands and stuff like that and basically give the public a good afternoon and or evening. <laughs> and it's always fun. We went last year for the first time and again this year and it's always really good. It always has a great turnout and stuff as well. So I wasn't able to get too many shots while we were there. It was quite dark in there and there was a lot of people and I probably would have had to shout if you wanted to hear me properly. Um, I got some lovely veggie gyozas, gyozas from a stand called Harajuku Kitchen, which I think are from Edinburgh or Glasgow. They make amazing Japanese street food and they were delicious. They came with a kind of soy and chili sauce and some pickled ginger on top, really, really good. And um, we also sampled some haggis bonbons and some salt and pepper fries, just good stuff. A lot of fried stuff, but some good stuff. Also tasted some beers, tasted some gins, tasted some weird kind of Scottish spirits that don't really fall under an umbrella or a title that were delicious but weird. Um, so afterwards we stopped off at the Mackey's 19.2 shop. Now this is owned by Mackey's of Scotland. You may have heard of if you live in the UK. They make um, a lot of great ice creams. So they've opened their first proper kind of scoop shop here in Aberdeen and they call it 19.2 because I believe it's situated 19.2 miles away from where they make their ice cream, which is kind of cool. But because we've been kind of eating and drinking at weird times today, we're not having a proper dinner tonight. So I'm just kind of throwing together some lentil soup in this pot back here just to have later whenever I get hungry. Uh, let me show you some of the stuff we got today though. Whenever you go to North Hop, you get a little glass to take with you or um, 
you know, it can be either this shape or kind of a tall one that you'd have spirits from. So this is more of a beer glass, but it's pretty cool. We also got this um, donut beer. So this is a creme brulee donut crush pale ale, I believe. And um, this is made by Out of Town Brewing or Out of Town Brewery. I can't remember what they call it. Um, and this is made by using actual vanilla custard donuts in the mash for the beer. So really excited to taste that one. We also got this scotch on the beach cocktail from the Finiston Distillery Company. So this is scotch whiskey blended with ginger beer, strawberry and vanilla flavorings. And when I had this last time, it genuinely tasted like a strawberries and cream lollipop and it was really nice. So yeah, got a couple of those to take home um, as well as the stuff that we drank there. And I got a cool pair of earrings as well, but I'm not really sure where I've put those. Anyway, I'm sure you'll see them in a new video at some point. But yeah, I also cut my finger today uh, when I was slicing open a hot cross bun because um, life is cruel. <laughs> Tomorrow is Easter Sunday, so there will probably be um, some cooking and lots of chocolate being consumed tomorrow. So see you then. Gym time. Please excuse my hair. Gym finished, time to go and enjoy what Easter Sunday was made for. Not prayer, not religion or thanking Jesus, but chocolate eggs. Just after I finished filming the little kind of puny weight lift routine that I was doing there, um, the lovely Mal, personal trainer and person that works at the gym I go to, came up and said, hey, would you like some chocolate eggs? I had some leftover from my kettlebell class. How cool is that? You come to the gym and you get free chocolate eggs. If only this happened every time. <laughs> so yeah, time to go home, shower and eat because I am starving. Got our golden eggs wrapped up. Oh my word. This plaster is really ruining the aesthetic, isn't it? <laughs> so we open up and we've got a gorgeous little nest of chocolate faces in there. And the same in here. I can really relate on like an emotional and spiritual level with this little guy. <laughs> I am so excited. So when you take these out underneath, you have your extra thick egg, which is this thick. None of your thin Easter egg garbage. Proper thick chocolate egg in there. So this must be the 40% milk half. We also have a swirled caramel chocolate and white chocolate egg here. Hotel Chocolat, you have made my day.
It wouldn't be Easter Sunday without a roast. So under here, we have some seven hour slow cooked pulled pork just resting up. We have a sort of barbecue sauce slash gravy kind of cooking away gently in here. Under here, we have some potatoes boiling, ready to be roasted into nice crispy roast potatoes very soon. Very exciting.